A E W is an undeniably talented roster, but a number of them currently have bad reputations. Whilst professional wrestling may bring a lot of smiles to faces, there is unfortunately a lot of bad in the business too. When it comes to certain wrestlers, they hold a bad reputation and that is sometimes a very hard thing to shake off despite the best effort from an individual. AEW's current roster is jam-packed with talented individuals, future stars and veterans, but among all of those are certain wrestlers who care around a poor reputation. Whether this is due to attitude problems, legal issues or other factors, there are plenty of individuals on the roster who some fans would rather not be in AEW at all. But who are they? Well, Jonas Lars will get 10 current AEW wrestlers with bad reputation. Number 10. Jeff Hardy Jeff Hardy is currently serving a suspension in AEW due to yet another arrest and DUI issue. Throughout his career, Hardy has suffered from substance abuse problems which has gotten in the way of his professional career. It seems like a cycle for Hardy. Although he has gone through successful patches in which he has stayed clean and in the right frame of mind, fans can hope that whenever he returns, history doesn't repeat itself. But there will always be a shadow of some doubt when it comes to artists. Number 9. Cole Carter Cole Carter is one of AEW's newest members of the roster, but he arrived with some question marks. In NXT, Carter was beginning to climb up the card as part of the D'Angelo family group, but with him repeatedly having a wellness policy issue in regards to a drug test, who was released. That made it quite surprising when John Khan quickly swept him up with the exact details of his WWE release being unclear as of now. Number 8. MJF MJF is perhaps the best team in professional wrestling today, but that seemingly crept over to the real world too in 2022. Due to backstage issues with TK with disagreements regarding his contract, MJF threatened to no show the double or nothing pay-per-view and would subsequently take some time away from AEW. These issues took the spotlight away from his double or nothing opponent, Wardlow in a situation which made the fans very unhappy. Whilst he's now doing some great work again back in AW, there's still an underlying annoyance with regard to how his actions affected old law. Number 7. Dustin Rhodes Dustin Rhodes' poor reputation is something which has subsided over the years, but many will still remember the issues surrounding his attitude and conduct mostly around the aftermath of the attitude era. Rhodes allowed his personal issues to plug his professional wrestling life with him notoriously being a part of the infamous plane ride from hell, which was certainly a low point of his career. Rhodes is someone who had done well to earn respect as time has gone on, despite some troubles in his past, although they are hard to forget. Number 6. W. Morrissey Similar to Dusty Rhodes, W. Morrissey is someone who is working hard to check a bad reputation which emerged during his time in WWE. Morrissey himself revealed on the session to Rene Paquette that he was unprofessional, had a bad attitude, and allowed various problems to get in his way of his career, which ultimately got him released, and poor attitude elsewhere too. However, in recent years, he has seemingly overcome those issues and is on his way to get rid of that poor reputation. Number 5. Dab Ellen Dab Ellen is someone with a strong fan base in AW, but that has in many years and seen some controversy. Allen was someone who was named among many other wrestlers in the speaking out movement which brought some bad publicity towards him. As of today, nothing has happened in terms of repercussions for Allen, but for the simple fact that his name was brought up, he will have that hanging over him. Number 4. Thunder Rosa Thunder Rosa may be the reigning AW Women's World Champion, but that doesn't mean she has escaped controversy in recent months. There has been several incidents with Rosa and others on the roster, with her being accused of sandbagging opponents at times, with the reported backstage hit according to Fightful Select. Recently, more rumors have emerged of her being hard to work with, having a bad attitude and having real life wit with her colleagues, namely Britt Baker. The more time goes on, the more talk of her being hard to work with images, which is something far from ideal for a W's top women's champion. Number 3. Jay Lito. During the aforementioned speaking out movement, Jay Lito was someone else who was named in allegation, which was the second time something like this had come out against Jay Lito. His signing with AW did raise some eyebrows, but with nothing further coming out in regard to the situation, it is hard to tell where things stand. 
At the way, there will be many fans who feel uncomfortable anytime Lito is on screen. Number two, Sammy Guevara. While Sammy Guevara may be a top prospect for AW, he has undergone a lot of criticism for comments he has made in the past, particularly in regard to Sasha Banks. In a controversy, we saw him briefly suspended from AW. Despite earning things with Banks, Guevara still receives a lot of disdain from fans, particularly those online, which also may have led to he and now his wife, Tamelo, receiving nuclear aid during their AW run as an off screen couple. He also has hit with fellow wrestler Andrade, and this is what Andrade did say in an interview. Este no más tuve problema con un luchador que no. ¿Puedes decir su nombre? Con Sammy Guevara. ¿Puedes decir su nombre? Problema con él de que no sé que entró el vestidor de que le pegamos recio. Si es lucha, lucha libre. Que le pegamos recio, que lo golpeé mucho y de que está molesto con él. No, si es lucha libre. Tengas arriba del ring. Si sí. si te pego recio, pégame recio. Yo ya me enteré de que de que enteró. Te acusó. Te acusó ahí como, como niña. Como pueden decir aquí como niña, me acusó, me enteré. Pues hable bien con él, o sea, sin pelear. The two also confronted each other on Twitter. Let's just hope it's a week. Because AW doesn't need more drama at this point in time. Number one, CM Punk. CM Punk is someone who will always have an enormous fan base, but he also has a lot of haters. Things were going well for him in AW. But recently, he has found himself at the forefront of one of the biggest controversies of 2022 as he publicly insulted members of AW's roast and EVPs. This led to a backstage fight in which Punk said currently looks worse off in terms of who was at fault, although the exact details haven't emerged. Punk now looks unlikely to return to AW following his suspension and injury, which adds to the time that it was him at fault. Punk has been accused of having actual problems in the past and this situation has unfortunately added to his poor reputation. But there you go guys, a lot of 10 wrestlers with bad reputation. Are there some who haven't mentioned? Let us know in the comments below. Please subscribe if you haven't and follow us on Facebook and Twitter. Thanks for watching, I will see you next time.